So in this video, I'm going to discuss the hierarchy of complexity in anatomy and physiology, as well as different anatomical variations. So, the hierarchy of complexity is essentially what it's saying is that an organism is made up of organ systems And then organ systems are made up of organs. Organs are made up of tissues. Tissues are made up of cells. Cells are made up of organelles. And organelles are made up of molecules. And then finally, and then there are different types of molecules, such as macromolecules and all that stuff. And then finally, there's atoms that make up molecules. And so, let me show you a picture of what that looks like. And so here's a good picture of the hierarchy of complexity. So here we have a baby as an organism, and then we have different organ systems. Here it's showing the digestive, and then organs make up the digestive system, I mean the organ system, and then organs are made up of tissues, tissues made up of cells, cells made up of organelles, and then so on, down to the atom, which is the smallest. And so let's talk about what each of those things are. And so an organism is a living single complete individual. So that's an organism. An organ system is a group of organs that together pre um, essentially helps you produce a certain function such as the digestive system all of the organs help you digest so digestive system helps you digest food and so on and then organs make up organ systems and so what organs are are they're a structure made up of two or more tissue types to carry out a particular function And so organs also, a key thing to note is they have a definite anatomical boundary. And essentially what that means is you can distinguish them from other organs around there, such as your stomach. You could easily distinguish that as being separate from your liver or your gallbladder. And then another cool thing is sometimes you have organs within organs. And so you might be wondering, what does that mean? Well, the skin is technically defined as an organ. And so the skin encompasses pretty much all of our organs. So as you can see, there are sometimes organs located within organs. Now on to tissues. So a tissue is a mass of similar cells that 
transform a discrete region of an organ and perform a specific function. And so there are actually four tissue types, four main tissue types. And throughout anatomy and physiology, a lot of the study is going to be study of tissues. And um, so there are four tissue types, epithelial, connective, nervous, and muscular. So those are the four major tissue types. And then cells. So cells are the smallest smallest units of an organism. that carry out all the basic functions of life. So all the basic functions of life. And then all cells contain organelles. And what organelles are, they are microscopic structures in a cell that carry out individual functions. So carry out individual functions. And then finally, molecules, there isn't too much to talk about. It makes up organelles. There are macromolecules such as proteins, carbs, fats, and DNA, or nucleic acids. And then the atoms are the smallest particles That still has unique chemical properties. And I'll just put molecules here, molecules up here. So make up organelles. And so there's two theories that go with the hierarchy of complexity. And so they are reductionism. and holism. And so what reductionism says is that a large complex system can be understood by studying its smaller components. So essentially it's breaking something down. To study its parts. But a key thing to note is that reductionism by itself is not sufficient for the complete understanding complete understanding of a living organism. And so on the other end, you have holism, which is the idea of studying the emergent properties. So studies emergent properties 
of the whole organism that cannot be predicted by the sum of its parts. And so, essentially, it's studying the body as a whole. So, studies the body as a whole.